All right, welcome back. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about setting up your leads page, also setting up a lead response, and then I will show you the cool color coded calendar inside of my actual Irisworks account. So what is a leads page? Your leads page is simply where people will connect with you and contact you if they're interested in possibly hiring you for photography services. So if again, when you log in, once you're at your dashboard, click over on the right hand side, you'll see the my settings option. It will have a drop down menu, you'll click studio, and you'll be able to see this screen right here. We are the third option down, we are on the leads page option. And I'm going to walk you through this page so that you can understand how to set it up for your business. Okay, so you have some options right up here. Show my studio logo. If you have a logo, you're gonna click yes. If you don't want it to show a logo, you're going to click no. Here is what that will look like. Here is your logo. Oh goodness. There is your logo right there, okay? So this is my logo. Of course I want it to show, why? Because it shows my branding. It gives a little bit of my personality and it makes it colorful. And that's really important to me. If you don't have that there, it'll be a plain Jane form and that's totally fine too. The second thing is it says use icons for session selection. So let me show you what the default is. The default is this right here, whatever icon either you chose, so whether they're custom icons or you're using the default icons that Irisworks provides for you, this is what it looks like with an icon. If I take it away, then it would look like well, I guess it's not going to reflect, <laughs> but uh, it would take it away. Okay, so those are the first two toggles. Now, the next thing is that submit button color. I highly recommend that you use one of your branding colors, which I did. I used my red brown. So that way, when they hit submit, it's still on brand and it's still matching um, the visual experience I want to give my clients. Okay, now you'll notice mine says something different right here, the leads page headline. Yours says something along the lines of a question, what photography services are you looking for? What I decided to do, because I am more casual in my tone with my clients and my leads, I just changed it to let me know below what type of photography session you are looking for. You can put whatever you want to here. If you specifically only do one type of photography and you just want to talk specifically maybe to that mama about her baby and you want to say something, then you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want that to be. What that looks like down here is you've got your logo. I put in my casual saying, your session types are going to be down here. And then they're going to have the typical form that they need to fill out. Um, this is one of my favorite things that Irisworks does. It, it automatically gives them a chance to say how they heard about you, which is super, super important. Um, I'll just leave it at that. And then they will go through the, I'm not a robot, and then they'll hit submit. So that's what your form is going to look like to your lead, to your future client. And so once you have it exactly how you like it, you will click the purple save button. Please don't forget to do that or you'll have to come back and do it all over. You also have another option right here. So I want to talk about this auto response email. This again is when a client reaches out to you, they submit that contact form, you have the options where they can automatically get a response back. I highly recommend that you guys do this. Here's why, here's a marketing tip for you. It is so important now. We live in such an instantaneous society. We want it right now. We don't wanna wait five minutes. We don't wanna wait two days to hear back from somebody. We want what we want right now. And your clients are going to be doing the same thing, especially if you are in a genre of photography where it's a little more competitive, it's a little more uh, time frame matters to these people. That's typically going to be weddings, engagement, newborns, possibly even maternity. Anything that's got a very strict timeline that someone is looking for something to be done by, you need to keep in mind that one of the factors of them choosing to hire you or not hire you is how long they have to wait 
wait for you to respond back to them. So I recommend having an auto response email, something that, that just reassures them you've received their request. You will be in touch personally. So this is just an email letting them know that it's safely landed in your inbox. You will respond, tell them when they can expect to hear from you. And then I take it a step further and I go ahead and I include that investment guide because I know that's what they're looking for. And so that's what I choose to put in to my auto response email, because I know those people want one of two things. If you're anything like me, when you're shopping, you're in the mood right now, you're ready to hire. Um, you know what your, what your budget is, you know what you're going to spend on something. And so you just want to know two things. Number one, how much do you charge? I want, let me see what value I'm going to get from you. And number two, how fast can you answer my question? So I highly recommend that you guys have some type of lead response, even if it's as basic as just letting them know that you will be in touch in X amount of days, hours, or whatever that needs to be for you. Okay. So how do you create your lead response email? Perfect. Okay. So this is just going to be a bonus for you. You guys feel free to to take this and use it in your own Iris works if you want to. But what you're gonna do is mine is automatically saved to be that lead response template. So we're gonna go over to email template. So again, the menu on the left hand side, if you'll scroll all the way down, you'll see the email templates option. And then it'll open up all of these email templates. Please don't freak out. <laughs> I have a lot of email templates, um, but we are specifically scrolling all the way down to lead response. So when they get this email, it says in response, that's what RE means. I'm responding to you reaching out to me, photography services. You can make this whatever you want it to be. I made mine as generic as possible. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So here's what they're seeing. Hi, and then it's automatically going to autofill their name. Thank you so much for reaching out and inquiring my photography services. Instead of waiting a while for my response, I wanted to go ahead and send this email over as it covers the most popular asked questions. Attached, you will find my current investment guide and more information about me in the process. To book your session review available dates, you can click here that links them up to my IrisWorks calendar. And then I just say, looking forward to working with you, Brooke, and then they can open up my investment guide. Now, the great thing is if you're like, what is an investment guide? An investment guide is simply a very strategic guide that my team and I have created for photographers like yourself to help sell yourself without actually having to necessarily have a back and forth conversation over and over and over again. So if you're interested in checking out maybe what that looks like and what um, is included in that, you can go to shopbrookjefferson.com and check out my resources there. All right, so once you do that, we're gonna head back to the leads page really quickly. There are uh, two more things you need to know about. So once you have everything ready to go, down here is where you will actually start using these links. So for instance, you have an option to automatically put this contact information, this, this particular form on your website. And you can do that right here um, just by adding this. Um, or if you want to add it to your existing web page or you have a designer or somebody that knows how to put that in there, then you can use this um, code right here. So what you're going to do, the main one you're going to need, and you're going to want to keep this in the notes app on your phone, is coming down here to the um, to this URL, I would copy it, I would email that baby to myself, I would keep it in a place where I can continue to um, use it over and over and over again. So two places that you can use this. One, you can use this in your online conversations, whether it is your Instagram DMs. If someone is trying to inquire with you, you can send them this direct link. It'll fill out, they can fill out your form right here and get back to you. The other place you can put this, you can use this link on a link tree on Instagram. You can use this as the button that is on your Facebook business page, the little blue button. It gives you an option to uh, learn more. You can do that and have it linked there. 
And you can literally um, send this link anywhere where people can book now, learn more about you, contact you. This is the URL you are going to want. And if I click on this, it's going to take me to exactly what they see. And that is this whole page right here. This is all they see. There's no distractions, takes them directly here. They fill it out, they submit it and you'll get back to them. So that is how to do a leads page. I hope you found this training helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below. Feel free to go check out the investment guides that I offer as well as other resources at shopbrookjefferson.com. And if you found this helpful, let me know. Good luck on your IRISWorks journey.